given my experience in Zimbabwe, I think the, the, the obstacles range from uh, lack of paradigm shifts uh, on the basis that what is an election? Uh, some people think that an election is to confirm uh, people who are already the incumbents rather than to give the people the right to choose. Uh, so you start having um, uh, institutionalized interference with the people's right to choose, coercion, intimidation, violence, uh, intolerance. Uh, you have uh, the fraudulent nature uh, of the administrative mechanism of an election, uh, the voters' role, uh, just the capacity to run an election in a free and fair the use of state organs uh, to interfere with the electoral process, uh, where you have got intelligence, police, all part of a system to, 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 affect, to, affect, to affect the free expression of the, people, of the people. Then you have the media, <coughs> uh, state-sponsored media, uh, uh, which instead of giving people the alternative views, actually goes on a propaganda uh, crusade against other participants in an election.